Creepers! What's up you crazy creeps? <laughs> Today is going to be a really fun one. A little different than normal. Uh, kind of a vlog that you guys haven't seen before. Uh, before, done some filming locations in the past. And this one's a little questionable just because of the language and some of the actual things involved but today's vlog is going to be about the movie Jackass. If you guys remember Steve-O, Bam, Wee Man, uh, Chris Pontanus, uh, Dave England, Danger, El uh, Danger Aaron, and Wee Man, I believe I named it, oh and Johnny Knoxville. Um, a lot of the cast and crew filmed some of the scenes right here in Portland. Uh, three places that we're going to creep to today that are all actually already iconic places here. That's Hippo Hardware, which is just a block from here. We're going to creep to Burnside Skate Park and also visit the filming location where they did the urban kayaking, all from the movie Jackass. So stay tuned, it's going to be a fun one. So we are slowly creeping through the neighborhoods here. And we are going to go down and visit the front side of Hippo Hardware which like I said is a famous uh, iconic place here in Portland already. They do a lot of uh, help people doing a lot of filming, supplying the props and things of that nature. So let's go right down here and check it out. I'm excited. All right, this is comedy. So we're making our way down Burnside here and directly in front of us is the iconic Hippo Hardware which has been here in Portland, gosh, I think for at least 30 years, maybe 40 years. And this is the front entrance where you would have seen the cast and crew kind of hanging out over next to the building, laughing hysterically because Dave England, to prepare for the skit and the prank, eats a whole bunch of x lax and he accidentally poops his pants inside the van. And then you see him getting ready to cross the street they actually show the plumbing sign in the movie. Um, you can't really see the Hippo hardware because I don't think they really wanted to know uh, anybody to know where they were. But uh, yeah, this is where he walks in the main entrance here and goes and takes a poop. Well, leaves a poop, really. Anyway, by the way, see this place is so cool, you guys. They have literally anything you could ever think of from. Yeah, if you want to see, if you want to talk to Steve, you can order. Okay, well, I don't really need to talk to anybody. I'm just kind of checking the place out. Thanks, bro. Right. See, this it's place is just... You got a whole set of these in the Uh, not those real new ones. Uh, just anything from door handles... Anything you have is modern. To fans, to knobs, to neon. I mean, literally, they have everything you could think of. And I believe... Gosh, nothing's changed much since the movie. That's so funny. Oh, look, they've even got shirts you can purchase. Very cool. You know, I've lived in Portland my whole life and I've never stepped foot in here. I'm like, gosh darn it, what the heck have I been doing? This is incredible. How long have you guys been here for? Years, huh? Since 1976. 76, wow. This is so cool. Literally bathtubs, toilets, and I believe, oh geez, they still have the toilet bowls here. I believe this was the section that Dave England would have went into to poop. This looks like, oh, this is cool, the old clawfoot tubs. You don't really see much of those anymore. I've got this big moose here. <laughs> And just like the movie, they've got, oh look at they've got some guys taking baths here. This place is so weird. And so cool. So here would have been probably the section Dave pulled up to go poop. Um, they've actually still have the toilet bowls right here. That's incredible. Even a poop wouldn't deter them from <laughs> keeping their, hey hippo keeping their toilet bowls out. <laughs> oh, this is cool though. Chandeliers, bikes, 
pretty much anything you could think of. Old school sinks. It's awesome. Look at all these different old school doorknobs too. Light switches. Oh gosh, I need to remember this. I actually need some of these. Very cool. Just anything you could think of really for your home needs. All right guys, let's uh, and like I said, I'll definitely leave links. I might actually even come back and purchase one of those shirts. This is definitely an iconic Portland place that I would love to represent, especially with the shirt. So let's get the rest of the vlog in and then I'll probably actually creep back down here in a bit on my way, way back and, uh, and purchase one of those shirts. The toilet? Yeah, I don't know exactly for sure, but I, I do know that that did happen here as a matter of fact, and it has caused multiple uh, attempts. Oh no! In the, in the uh, you know, after the fact, but. Uh, yeah, I won't be doing that today. <laughs> I won't be doing that today, but. <laughs> but uh, Thank you so much for vlog. Thanks for letting me vlog your store. It's very cool, man. And uh, I would have loved it if the original owner that was here when he did that, his reaction to it, like, must have been the coolest guy in the world because he wasn't really that pissed. He was just like, what a weirdo. Yeah. I guess the rule is you poop it, you buy it. <laughs> you guys should make that officially on your on a sign that'd yeah. be hilarious and i noticed that you actually have the bowl still set up where it's like you know what even a little poop's not going to deter us from selling somebody a toilet oh, bowl <laughs> yeah you got to clean the sidewalks in portland and you won't be afraid of selling used toilet that's bowls. true very so. true yeah it, basically in portland you guys are like in the, the heart of the city here so you've seen it all so thanks so much for letting me vlog you guys all right have a good day guys see that's just how cool they are here too so if you guys are in portland come on down and check out hippo hardware Anything you could possibly think of. Oh, they've even got hats and stickers. Very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the, uh, they got this little Hippo Hardware sticker. Got to support them. Very cool. It's going to be a good one for the collection too, so I'm stoked on that. Check out this artwork all along the side of this wall here and catch a break in traffic. Slowly move across. This is incredible. Both sides. Wow. That's pretty cool. Got some Grateful Dead bears and skeletons. That is impressive. All the way down, all these pieces. These kids are so talented, man. Literally the whole building. Oh, this character is rad. Look at this guy. With the alien cows abducting them <laughs> or I guess it's just aliens but they're taking the cow that's incredibly awesome dang the whole whole walls done top to bottom basically let's get this robot one that's pretty cool
Gotta love the colors. Gosh darn it, these kids are so talented. Wow, look at this one. This is super cool. All the way down. And I think we're getting pretty darn close to the skate park which will bring us to our next filming location. This guy is incredible though, look at this. It's like a Skeletor looking guy. That is sick. on the PlayStation playing here. But this is the Burnside Bridge. And many years ago, this was constructed by kind of a guerrilla style. There was an asphalt company that was just right here. And people throughout the years would grab bags of asphalt and kind of develop these little ramps overnight. And throughout the years, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And finally, the city said, heck it, we're going to let them put in this park. And so, hence the Burnside Skate Park right here. People are still tearing it up. We're gonna go up here and check it out. This is the heart right here, right underneath the Burnside Bridge, pretty sick. You guys gonna tear it up for me? Sick, dude. Somebody went to town too and really painted this. Look at this backdrop, it's so sick. With that snake and those eagles. Okay, hi, are you the skater dog? <laughs> so this is pretty sick you guys. This is like I said an iconic spot. If you're a skater you already know but like I said it made it on Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's pro skater. This guy's about to drop in. Nice. But if you can believe Dave England and them actually use these bowls with their urban kayak which I'll, I'll do my best to edit either the actual movie or just clips from it, but you can see all these buildings behind it still standing years later. And what cracks me up is that he actually dropped in off these walls and these and used all these bowls in the scene. In fact, I'm gonna creep down this way because you can see. Oh wow, that was sick. Kickflip, right? Or uh, what the heck was that called? 360 clip, 360 heel flip. Nice. These guys are tearing it up. And on the urban kayaking skit, you can see this back wall here at Burnside. And Dave England actually drops in, in the kayak, off this back wall. Crazy. Oh, shoot. That's crazy drop. Holy smokes. Nice, dude. For the homie Mark, who's a dedicated skater, if you guys ever want to go check out some sick skate vids and watch somebody skate who's come up a lot, check out my buddy Mark Fun Jones. Him up right here. Been wanting to put you up somewhere good, dude. This is it. Burnside Skate. Doesn't get any sicker than that, bro. All right, guys. We're going to creep up to the next spot that they actually did the urban kayaking scene at. As much as I'd love to just stay here and watch these guys skate all day. <laughs> Sick. Nice, dude. This guy's crushing it. Very flow. Yeah. 
All right, so I found the fountain and I don't believe it's running at this particular moment just because of everything that's been going on. It's also winter time here in Portland, but <laughs> the more and more I watch the skit, the more I laugh. It's just hilarious. But we're gonna pull up here to the Lovejoy Fountain. I'm gonna show you guys. So here is the actual Lovejoy Fountain sign. And just behind it here sits this little community fountain, which in the summertime people will wade in it, have little picnics and parks. But if you are <laughs> part of the Jackass crew, you use this as a drop-in for the movie. And in fact, you can see all the steps and everything that they went down. In fact, at one point they were like pouring buckets of water over each other. But normally, like I said, in the summer, this whole fountain area is running and has water that will run from, you know, the top all the way down these stairs. So in fact, all these stairs would have like a rushing water effect down into this little pool area here. So all this would be like a giant fountain basically spewing water and, and Dave actually took the kayak and went right down these stairs into the water. And then you can see Aaron dumping buckets of water on his head. But like I said, just an iconic Portland place as well as the other two places that we just went to today. But I wanted to show you guys how crazy those guys were for dropping in. Some of these sets, some of these stairs, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going down that in a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> all the way down here and at one point you can see he gets kind of stuck here the kayak actually flips over and then Aaron comes to his rescue and flips him back but this whole thing is just gushing with water and they're pretty brave but it makes for a hilarious video and like I'll, I'll pepper in some of the scenes or just at the end show the the full video pretty funny though as they're walking through here or filming as well there's people that are watching Dave go down the fountain and in fact they interview one of the guys right here you can see these like smaller steps here and he says to him what do you think about urban kayak <laughs> and the old man says I love it you know he gives him a big thumb up but right here the third location to jackass super funny and like a really pretty place too not so much in the winter because everything's turned off but pretty cool this kayak would have went flying right down these steps from the top there all the way down into that little pond so definitely an enormous place to be here it's got this little bench area and covered spot you can kind of hang out at but as we go over here I believe, <laughs> and I'm not quite sure if the movie actually shows it, but right about top here is where he would have dropped in, right about there. And then you can see the fountain kind of goes down into the fountain here, down these steps here, and then down the way here. So pretty crazy, <laughs> but with the water flowing, it probably wasn't too bad. go all the way up top here this is where the fountain would have been spewing all the water and if you can see it's a pretty darn good drop down so I don't know if he actually started here and, <laughs> and dropped all the way in I don't think so that's pretty darn far I'm thinking it was probably from these steps down and then over pretty funny <laughs> oh, I just can't believe the people watching too. That is the most classic part. Wow, you can really see Mount Hood in the distance too if you look real close. Beautiful shot. All right, you guys. So that's going to do it from Portland today. If you haven't seen the movie Jackass, it's definitely worth watching. It's comedy. You can actually just check out some of the clips online from, from some from some of the funniest moments, which I think were actually, the moments that were the funniest were actually the ones filmed here in Portland. I know they filmed up at Mount Hood as well. Um, but yeah, just comedy every time. Those guys are hilarious. And I've actually talked to, to Aaron a couple times, Aaron Danger, 
about some of the moments in Jackass, including him losing his tooth. So I'd hope to get him on the vlog in the near future. He said he'd, he said he'd do it, so we'll see. Aaron Danger, if you see this, get a hold of me in the comments. Um, or I think you might have my number as well. But that's going to do it from the Portland filming locations from the movie Jackass. Definitely comedy at its finest. And I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did bringing it to you guys. So make sure you guys ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. But from Portland, Oregon, that's going to do it. Clear Ski the Creeper, out for now. Peace.